Yo, off, off break, man. Shout out to Stray Kids. Let's go, yo. Shout, shout out to, what's Tiger? Tiger JK. Tiger JK. Yo, everybody's flow, everybody's bars on this track, man. It, <laughs> it was honestly amazing. I'm not even going to hold you, man. Like, I enjoyed it from start to finish. And usually, like, I always feel kind of, like, iffy when I'm watching some K-pop videos as far as, like, when the break comes in, as far as, like, the chorus, because it kind of brings it down and bring it back up because i like stuff to be consistent sometimes like if we gonna get if we gonna get crazy in the beginning throughout the video i wanted to stay crazy throughout the whole video like as far as like the hypeness or whatever like sometimes i don't like to like to come down i like to stay consistent through the whole video because sometimes i like i just like that flow and just how it is and i felt like the the break in the middle as far as the course like it yeah, pretty much kept it there man just like but everybody's bars and flows and, and like, bro like I didn't think it was going to come in like that. I like I was already vibing with the beat, just how it sounded. So I'm like, please, please murder this, which I know straight kids normally does. But I enjoyed it, man. And I like how you can kind of get a piece of everybody's vocals inside of the, the video. You can hear Felix, uh, boom, dig it on. Yo, like, I was just about to say that, like, bro. I feel like they got so much uses for so many different people within their group. It's just like, you know, you got the rappers, you got Felix, you got the singers. It's like, mm -hmm. bro, you can have somebody kind of attack every different angle of a song if you needed to. Mm -hmm. I just feel like that's dope. And I feel like the fact that they always use it makes it even more dope. Uh -huh. But, yo, this video, bro, I don't know. Just, just like Kogan said, bro, I feel like off top, at least for me, and I feel like for him too. Like when I feel like I can feel the the like the instrumental before people, or I know how it's gonna go, bro. I can already tell, and I feel like y'all did that for a reason. Y'all sent this top line for a reason, bro. They kind of know where we are as far as like momentum, energy, like rapping, just and I, like and videos. I'm, and I'm gonna say this real quick. I don't even cut uh, Kate and all, but it was it was the same instance in the purge. Like that's how this video gave it to me. Like, nah, for real. Like you you kind of felt it in the beginning. Like oh yo. Like it's about to go in. Somebody like, crazy. This, this beat sound good. Like they float about to probably be on top of it. And it was it was ten out of ten. Honestly, and I ain't been coming in the beginning, bro. Yeah. I don't know something. It's like that boy be he be tweaking or something. Like it's like I don't, just all of them in general. But yo, I definitely feel like what's his name, Tiger Jake. I feel like he kind of yo. He definitely gave a different spin on it that I actually like to hear. Mm -hmm. I feel like you know just hearing people's different flows and coming on a track. Like all right, how about to carry it? And also too, some people some people can actually like mess the flow up sometimes. Like as far as like how it may carry the beat, and I don't feel like he did. Like I feel like he he was like he was just. Made made the beat like basically just, it just sounded everything sounded good together everybody's verses. What sound. you feel like it was it was more so about? I feel like it was about you can't touch us. Yeah, like just like how you said like you can't like we at the red line you can't pass the red line. Yeah, like, for we real. at the top we we at the top we looking down at y'all like this how it is like and I I and he, I think it was almost like a it was like a, a a humbling experience like they're trying to be humble but it's like in the sense that they can't like I don't know like it they're, they're they're confident mm -hmm. as hell, like mm -hmm. almost to a cocky standpoint, but mm -hmm. they're not cocky. Like they, but they just know for sure. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. And and I don't know the history of of, of K-pop artists in general or just rap artists, but I feel like K-pop has a thing to where they kind of keep it, you know, more respectable. So, yeah, respectable. Not even that. Just more so like PG thirteen. But when they add cuss words in there, I think it's kind of cool because it's like everybody's being edgy now. So it's uh -huh. like, and that's not to say they haven't been edgy before, but like when they first came out, because I don't know. Like I'm getting, in, we all getting into this, but at the same time, I like when they do that and they can step out their boundaries. And also, I love, I love, love, love when they can switch from English into Korean and just like just adding a little bit of flavor to help me get like a part in my head to where I can say it in the, in the video if I ever hear or listen to the music. I think it's dope completely. But yo, and shout outs to the quality of the video, bro. I just felt like it was a lot going on in this video, but. I, don't, I kind of feel like they did that because of what we just seen. Mm -hmm. It's like they wanted to show us something else that Stray Kids. And yo, we already knew that, bro. Stray Kids gonna blow every time, bro. So shout out to y'all for giving us this reaction request, but that was tough. Yeah, but we gonna go ahead and get on out of here, guys. Thank you again for another reaction request. But once again, my name is Kogan. This your boy, Kate. And that's Skull Pack. Yeah! yeah.